Welcome to Wolfpack TV. I'm your host, Larry Reed. Get a load of this. It's the new shelters for the soccer teams here at Hillside Stadium. Don't they look great? Speaking of soccer, it was the home openers for the uh, TRU Wolfpack women's soccer team this weekend. They opened up against UBC. Saturday, the top offensive team in the Canada West, the UBC Thunderbirds, here for the home opener. UBC led by fifth-year Jasmine Danda. Opening the scoring at the 10-minute mark, down the left side, gets her foot on it, and it goes low, far side. Start of a big afternoon for the fifth year from Surrey. Danielle Robertson was a player of the match for TRU. Here, she faces Danielle Steer on the break, getting the best of her. UBC with 14 shots in the first half alone. Robertson making not one, but two stops here. 18 minutes left in the first half. Again on the left side, it's Margaret Hadley feeding Jasmine Danda. Again, Robertson with the save. Later, Handley will cross the ball to Danielle Steer, her fifth goal of the campaign. T-Birds up 2-0 at the half. Second half, and it's the dynamic duo of Amin Shergill and Jasmine Danda combining on this one. Shergill with the shot Robertson can't hold on to, Danda's second in the 58th minute. Less than six minutes later, a through ball to the always dangerous Jasmine Danda puts a little stutter step around Robertson, yawning cage for her, and that is her hat trick goal. T Birds continue the pressure a little later on. Another through ball. It's our man Shergill holds and waits for Robertson to go down. It's in the back of the net, her fourth of the year. Make the count 5 0. And then it's Danda around Gwen Freeze and into the net. Her fourth, UBC goes on to beat the Wolfpack 6-0 as they outshoot TRU 30-10. You can't blame Danielle Robertson for not having a big outing. I thought we really played well in the first half there, we kept it together. Uh, the second half was a little rougher at times, but overall good performance there. 24 hours later, it's the UVic Vikes in town. Victoria gets on the board nearly nine minutes in. It's a great passing play going to the left. Caitlin Milham finishes it off, sliding it past Robertson. Vic with nine shots in the first half. TRU with chances of their own in the first half. A couple of Kamloops kids connecting. It's Keenan Deegan to longtime minor soccer teammate Stasi Shiriani. Long shot and a save by Vikes keeper Puck Lowe's. Victoria goes up by two and Stephanie Badilla Gutierrez gets the corner kick. Headed in nicely by Kiara Kilby in the 61st minute. That girl Kilby not done yet. Later, she will play the ball down nicely, then move through the Wolfpack back line. Her second of the day, fifth of the year, and the Vikes lead 3-0. Dying stages. Kilby will turn on the Jets, and even though Cassie Morris tries to defend against her, not to be, that's her hat trick goal. Victoria goes on to beat the Wolfpack 4-0. Oh, we were tired. You know, the big lesson we talked about at halftime and we have to come out of it is, at this level, fitness is fitness. And sometimes you have to play two really good physical experienced teams in a 24-hour period. And we weren't prepared for that today. I don't think we were particularly, our thinking was off. I don't think our movement was off. I don't think our shape was off. But we were slow and they're tired. Wolfpack men were on the road looking to extend their unbeaten streak to six. They came up with a draw in Mount Royal despite being down two men for 75 minutes of the match after losing both Ryan Glanville and Maxime Fujon with red cards. Fujon in his first match of the year got TRU started. Alex Ram making his first career Canada West start in goal for the pack. Sunday and the Wolfpack make their way to Toontown, Saskatoon to meet up with the Saskatchewan Huskies. And they will strike first. It's Justin Donaldson with his third goal of the year, almost five minutes in. Alex Ram, the rookie from England, playing both matches this weekend. He makes a great save here. 13 minutes in and Jan Perez Glassmacher gives the Husky a little shove and that results in a penalty shot. Kwame Opoku drives it home and the match is tied at one. The pack though continue to press. Finley McPhee out to Thomas Lantmi just over top of the net. At the other end, Saskatchewan threatens, but Alex Ram is there to make the save. And he was getting help. Tony Piero getting a start on defense. Great slide tackle here. The game tied at one at halftime. Wolfpack look to go ahead. It's a free kick for Mitch Papadinitz. They do get their second goal, 62 minutes in. Jason Steiger back from injury, and this is his first Canada West marker. The Huskies start to pour it on, though, but Alex Ram lifts it over the net. Then he makes another save. He's listed, though, with only three in the contest. Two on the final in favor of the Wolfpack. The coach saying this win was character with a capital C. Um, overall, good weekend. Happy with uh, how the guys played. Uh, really had to work hard. Really had to get it out in two difficult games. So we're just happy to get the points and, and, and the results. 
Also from the weekend, the Wolfpack baseball team moving to 10-2 and on the fall exhibition season. They won 4-5 of five this weekend as they went first to Kelowna to take two from Okanagan College and then won 3-4 of four from the Dinos in Calgary. On Sunday, Aaron Lemoyne was the winning pitcher. Saturday's winner was Tyler Hodder, the ace of the TRU staff. Men's volleyball on the coast for their first preseason play after losing to UBC in straight sets. They lost two more matches against Trinity Western and Langley. In that last match, Coach Henley crediting Charlie Bringlow and Isaac Smith with strong passing games. Now, as we look ahead to this week, the men's soccer team home to face Fraser Valley on Saturday and Trinity Western on Sunday. Earlier this year, the Pack beat UFV and tied Trinity. Both those games, noon start times at Hillside. The women are on the road taking on both those schools on Friday and Saturday evenings. And that's Wolfpack TV for this week. Here's how you find us on Facebook, on Instagram, and on Twitter. I'm Larry Reed. We'll talk again in seven days.